Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, make the effort, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the step you're guided to take. Make the effort. Alrighty, six of wands in reverse. Six of wands in reverse. Bam, 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 bam. All right, so some sort of a news some of you were expecting, maybe you were expecting to be married, maybe you were expecting and hoping um, for some sort of an exciting moment is not going to be happening, Leo's. Um, and this is because whatever is happening and transpiring to you, Leo's, the three, an end is coming up for you, Leo's. Leo's that was in a relationship with a Pisces man, an end is coming up because they recognize uh, information, the nine of wands. They recognize that you, Leo, was having some sort of an affair with a Pisces man. Um, so... Yeah, Leo's, um, the Six of Swords. Um, so a lot of you are dealing with uh, the Sixes. So I see um, overcoming an Aquarian and some sort of a deceptive play of an Aquarian and moving forward, leaving Aquarian behind. Um, then we see this notion of... Uh, um, some sort of a information comes out about uh, a um, Taurus and they're recognizing who the Taurus is and a whole lot of information about, you know, the Taurus and the Taurus personal life and sex life came out. Um, who is the Taurus? Uh, so I see, you know, a Taurus is uh, not going to be happy because um, some sort of an information. So are you in a relationship with a Taurus? Whoever the Taurus is, the Taurus has been having multiple affairs. The Taurus has been in multiple engagement and they're going to be finding out uh, about the Taurus because some sort of uh, information about a Taurus is going to be coming in about the Taurus um, life, intimate life, um, a Taurus life out of the job a, a taurus who is this taurus and uh, you know how does taurus uh, have uh, extra matter terrible affairs and this is going to be coming out so i hope you leos are not married to a taurus because i see that this is going to be coming out about you leos so i see you leos is going to be overcoming some sort of an issue i see something with uh, you working on your relationship or your marriage, whatever is happening and transpire, I see this is coming out. I see you, Leos, need to detach from a situation. Is it a marriage? Is it a relationship? I see some sort of an attachment. I see some sort of a transition is going to be coming up. And the thing about it is that some of you, Leos, and it depends on who you're with, could be a happy ending. But I see that it is um, a situation where um, some of you, Leos, your wishes and dreams could come true um, with a relationship that you were hoping for. But it's going to not happen because uh, there is some sort of information that is coming out about you, Leos, that is going to be blocking you. And, you know, whatever this information is coming out, um a Sagittarian is going to be bringing out this information. So, um, you know, whoever um, these people and these situation is and was, uh, I see all of this is now coming out. And you, you Leos, um, especially if that was in an affair with a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion, they're going to be recognized. You were only seeing this man for money, financial stability. Um, and that was the only reason you were seeing this man because there was no love. If you notice the face of this person, there is no love. So you Leo women, it is now going to be coming out that uh, whoever you were seeing, the Spices Cancer Scorpion, 
um, that is coming up. But, you know, you were only happy because you were receiving the money. For the rest of it, uh, this person is uh, not in a stability of giving you the money and the love is over. And, you know, we can't judge you, ladies. Or we can't judge whoever you are. We can't judge you. But, you know, that's your characteristic. It's always about the money and not really about the heart chakra. It's, all, it's always about who can give me something, who can, you know, push me to the highest level. So I see um, they're going to be recognizing that some of you, Leo, got in some sort of a relationship and affair with a Pisces because it was just um, for financial stability. Mm, 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 mm. I see they're going to be coming down. Uh, a lot of you, Leos, is going to be finding out something about Aries. So, and it's, it's basically the same thing because her a fire sign, people, you have to understand you have passion. You have passion to move forward. You have passion to work and create. But if it is going to be with materialistic things, I see that you are going to be choosing the materialistic world, okay? So I see the Six of Swords, and the energy of the Six of Swords is going to be bringing you to a place where an end is not over with a Aries. I see a situation that an end is not over with an Aries. I see you will come out of a situation with a lot of money. You will come out of this divorce with a lot of money. But it's not yet um, over, and it's as if uh, they're going to be getting back at you, Aries. Uh, the Aries is going to be getting back at you, Leo. So you got to be aware of this. So uh, the money will be there. The happiness will be there. But is it that you're looking for love and happiness? Um, you men are, but you women are not. You women are only for the money. So you can see a situation here that is playing out that, you know, men are happy, um, but women are not happy. The women are in a relationship that are in a relationship with a Pisces are not happy with this relationship. The women who are in a relationship with a Virgo uh, or a rich man, <coughs> you will... Um, you know, leave her to be in a relationship with a Virgo than with a Pisces. So, uh, it is a lot that is going on here, Leos. There is no question about this. Um, a lot of affairs are going to be happening. And a lot of you at hope for some sort of uh, um, good news. But it's not going to be coming in. And there, and I see whatever, whoever was in a relationship with an Aries, I see some sort of a communication is going to be coming in. I see the Aries is going to be moving forward because they are going to be moving forward with a Virgo. So if you were having your hopes on an Aries, this Aries is going to be moving forward with a Virgo. This Virgo is financial stability. And I see this Aries is going to be um, moving forward with this Virgo. Money is there. Um, mm, a lot of you who, uh, you know, who are seen um, a Taurus, you're going to be recognizing that this Taurus person, they were in some sort of a... Uh, sadistic relationship it drive this person so let's say that you were you know you're open for some sort of a relationship with a taurus so, and you know but this taurus is not making a move on you no because this taurus is in a sadistic relationship the taurus get pays for what he does so you know you you know you have fun with this person and the rest of it, but this person have never made a move on you. They have made a move is because they're in something else that you are not in. All right, so that's it. So it's all about the money for you, Virgos. Uh, you know you. It's all about the money for you. It's all about the money for you. Whatever is happening, 
and is transparent it is all about the money for you because whatever is happening and transparent is all about the money especially for the women there is no love the men is in love but the women you women it's all about the money so um i see a lot of you women are going to be ending some sort of a relationship because a, a pisces doesn't have the money um to give you anymore and you know that's not nice leo so um when this person had it this person um gave it to you but it's as if this person um you know their and their business so has come up and this is looking as like your husband um or a businessman that was supporting you leos a pisces businessman that was supporting you leos so, and they're now recognizing that and you are now recognizing that this person business or association you know it's coming down it's over and the end of the money the end of the love but leos that's not the way to treat anyone because there someone is going to be coming back to treat you the same way so it is what it is leos i gotta say um it is what it is um you know there's no mistake there's a you know things happen for a reason and you know if you're going to be looking relationship and love is all about love it's about you loving another person respecting another person and if you um if someone is in an um you know not good financial place why are you going to be um you know really coming down on this person because of where they are there was no love in the beginning and um you know whenever people treat each other unfairly like this this is what happened is that people are going to be um you know recognizing and is going to be leaving um a situation and the the same karma is going to be coming back so i see as a lot of you leos recognize that a pisces didn't have it as they said they did and that's why there was no love that is coming to this person or your no more love is here for this person so you recognize that hey i you know it's not fair because uh, you can't be in a relationship because it's only for materialistic well i think if you do love someone you do love the person and you know whether or not a person uh is have it or don't have it I don't think it's a way to treat another person. It's just my opinion, Leos. I know money is everything for you guys, but, you know, this person has been there for you. And, uh, you know, at the moment, it's kind of hard. So, you know, don't take it personal. It's not as if this person is saying, yeah, you know, they have it and they're not giving you. It's just uh, what it is. So I see some sort of a transition is going to be coming up. A lot of you Leos are going to be ending relationship and the, the, you know, your ending the relationship is because the person don't have any materialistic stability. That is the reason why you're ending the relationship is because the person is not financial stability. And, you know, it is your thing. You need to know and make the right decision in your life. Um, at a later stage, I see a lot of you are kind of detaching, detaching from a situation. And some of you are not even recognizing that, you know, great love is here, but you're not recognizing this. And you're detaching basically from a situation and not recognizing that, you know, great love is here for you. And whatever is happening and transpiring, you're trying to detach yourself. And it is what it is. So... Um, you make your decision, but karma is going to be catching up. So be aware of what you do. I got a girl. If you want to see the extended office reading, follow to the other side. Um, yep. Follow as to the other side. Money does make you happy, ladies and gentlemen. And if you notice rich people, a lot of people are rich because they um, really spend their time working and you know they have the money but they don't have the love because they never open up themselves for love so you know whatever the decision you make you know um you got to recognize that money does make you happy and it doesn't keep you warm in bed um and you know whoever you are you have to make the choices that you have to make i can't be the one to tell you what to do but 
whatever you do to another person, Leo, in this timeline is going to hurt you and hurt you bad um, in down the road in another timeline. Gotta go. Please show your loves and like by thumbs up. Namaste.